Hello students, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to give you seven latest defense updates. Number one, Lockheed Martin have no plans for F-35A. Lockheed Martin's enduring pursuit of India's medium multi-role fighter aircraft ten, uh, tender remains a focal point in the global aerospace industry as the company continues to advocate for its proposed variant, the F-21. Amidst rising production levels at Lockheed's factory in Greenville, South Carolina, which recently celebrated its 50th anniversary, the company sees sustained interest in the iconic F-16 fighter aircraft. Next, Futuristic Infantry Combat Vehicle at the Recent uh, Maharashtra MSME Defense Expo, it has been confirmed that two private sector giants, Tata and Bharat Forge, will serve as development come production partners for the futuristic infantry combat vehicle program. This announcement marks a crucial advancement in India's indigenous defense manufacturing and modernization efforts. Next. Uh, Kalyani Group to tap barrel expertise to develop indigenous naval guns. The Kalyani Group, a leading Indian defense contractor, has embarked on an ambitious project to bolster the Indian Navy's firepower. The company is currently de uh, designing and developing three indigenous naval guns under Make, One, Make India category of the defense acquisition procedure. 2020. This government funded initiative aims to reduce India's reliance on foreign arms imports. Next, debunking the J20 versus Rafale 1720 claim. Recent reports circulating in certain media outlets have stirred controversy by asserting that a Chinese fifth generation J-20 fighter jets achieved a remarkable feat during a simulated combat exercise. According to these reports, the J-20 reportedly brought down 17 dissolved Rafale fighter jets from the Indian Air Force without suffering any losses itself. While such claims may grab headlines, they warrant Careful scrutiny and consideration. Next, INS Jatayu unveils insignia with uh, mythological guardian. The Indian Navy base on Minicoy Island, Lakshadweep, soon to be christened INS Jatayu, has unveiled its official insignia. The emblem to be formally inaugurated next week by Admiral R. Hari Kumar, Chief of the Naval Staff, features a powerful image. Jatayu, the courageous vulture from the Ramayana alongside a light house. Jatayu revered or for his loyalty and valiant uh, sacrifice, attempted to rescue Mata Sita from the clutches of the demon king Ravana. The insignia draws a symbolic connection between Jatayu's unwavering defense and the role INS Jatayu will play in safeguarding India's maritime interest. Next, is India being a bully? S. Jai Shankar was asked. Just look at the response he gave. Responding sharply to a question whether India was being a bully in the region, subcontinent and the Indian region, ocean, ocean region, at a book launch event in the national capital, external affairs minister S. Jayashankar said, big bullies don't provide US dollar 4.5 billion in aid when neighbors are in distress. Next, Navy to commission MH-60R Seahawk helicopters. The Indian Navy will commission the newly inducted MH-60R Seahawk a maritime variant of the Black Hawk helicopter, multi-role helicopter on 6th March at INS Garuda, Kochi marking a pivotal moment in India's 
डिफेंस मॉडर्नाइजेशन जर्नी द सी हॉक स्क्वाड्रन विल बी कमीशन इन द इंडियन नेवी एज आई एन ए एस थ्री थ्री फोर द हेलीकॉप्टर आर अ पार्ट ऑफ द ट्वेंटी फोर एयरक्राफ्ट एम एस एफ एस एम एस कॉन्ट्रैक्ट साइन बाई द विद द यू एस गवर्नमेंट इन फेब टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थैंक यू